Hey folks, this is Shane. Today's video is aimed at folks who like to leave an off clean pedal on the entire gig. There's many, many blues guys out there that will set up their first pedal as their always on pedal. They might not like to play clean. I kind of like that. I, I don't like playing dead clean rhythm guitar a lot of the time. I prefer to have a little bit of grit. This video will be broken up into two sections along the way. The first part will be how I go about setting up an off clean tone on an amplifier in reference to my clean tone. The second part will take a look at a tube screamer. These particular pedals add frequencies and take frequencies away and how you can kind of compensate for that with using the EQ on your amplifier. Tube screamers are a great lead pedal. They're also really cool for some rhythm stuff if you like their particular sound. But if you're going for that off clean, kind of flat EQ sound, they're maybe not ideal. There's so many of these type of pedals out there as well. I'm gonna see if we can go ahead and get a good tone that's kind of reminiscent of my clean tone, but with a bit of dirt with a tube screamer as well by compensating with the EQ on my amp. If you do find this video helpful, don't forget, please click the cards. There's an entire playlist of these videos that I'm putting together every week so please check back for more don't forget to please subscribe and click the bell if you find this video helpful I absolutely appreciate that let's get into it the first thing you want to do is set up a really nice clean tone something that sounds good to your ear and this sounds good to me so let's give this a shot Let's go ahead and give the fried liver a go. Now this will be the easier of the two pedals to get to sound. Very similar to my amp, but just with a hair more dirt. So here we go. Already I can tell maybe it's not quite toppy enough. And just turn up the tops. I'd say that sounds a lot closer to my clean tone. Let's have another listen. Now, as you can hear, I have lost a little bit of low end. This particular pedal with the EQ system will bring that back. Just go ahead and turn the gain down a bit here. Let's try this. So that sounds very similar now to my clean tone in terms of volume and also in terms of frequencies. All I had to do was kind of fiddle with the onboard EQ system of the pedal to get that particular sound to match my amplifier. This particular sound works for me if you like more of a high end kind of sound, just set your amp up clean and try and match it to that. For those of you who have a tube screamer and want to use that as an off clean tone the entire time, you might be thinking, how do I tweak this? So what I've done on my amplifier is I've turned the mids down from five to about two and a half. And I've also turned up the tone control all the way up on the max on. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Sounds pretty awesome. As I mentioned, this is for folks who would leave a pedal on most of the night to kind of get that bluesy off clean kind of vibe. Let's compare the max on now to the fried liver and I'm gonna switch back to my other EQ settings as well. So here we go. And now back to clean. Cool. 
I hope that's been helpful. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. If you'd like to find out more about some tips and tricks to make the most out of your gear or playing, click the cards up here. I have an entire playlist of videos that I'm now putting together on YouTube. If I have missed anything, feel free to leave your comments below. I think there's two types of pedals out there, some that enhance frequencies and others that remain more neutral. The trick is to compensate for those pedals that really color your sound like the Tube Screamer does in a kind of nice way. You can then kind of EQ some of your amplifier frequencies out, which should give you a closer, sort of more transparent tone to your ideal settings once the frequencies of the pedal take hold. The best thing to probably do if you're after an off-clean pedal is to buy one that is pretty flat in terms of frequency response. Stacking a pedal into it will also sound awesome. Don't forget, please leave all your comments below and I will catch you all very, very soon. See ya. Thank you.